on spring, guys. But it's catch and release. We're gonna have to put it back. We landed all but one. How big are they? We lost two. This thing, unbelievable. Spring that is all the dirt, yeah? yeah. Well, you heard all the yelling and screaming, didn't you? If he's coming up, let me see the Oh, man. Unbelievable fish. Life's good. Alright, I'm Graham Pullen and welcome to another edition of Totally Awesome Fishing, the Vintage Series. Now then, you guys out there should know by now that I catch almost anything. I have no problem fishing for any species, any technique, anywhere in the world. But I went on a salmon fishing holiday many years ago over to the Fraser River. It's fantastic for salmon and for scenery. Check out the footage, see what you think. It's vintage fishing, vintage fish. Oh yeah, it's vintage me as well, isn't it? Well, it's still worth looking at. Come on, the fish are good. If you thought the chances of catching your first salmon were slim, think again. For here in British Columbia, you probably have the best chance in the world of catching one. And if you time your trip right, they don't just have one, but five different species of salmon. Is that it we have to go either? So what we're doing down here is we're fishing the uh, Sumas River, and it's quite tidal here. We're using small spinners with four and six pound test line. And Graham's just hooked a nice little, not sure if it's a coho or a jack spring yet. Let's see if we can have a peek at him here. <clears throat> just coming up, Fred, looks about three, four pounds. Yeah. There he is. Jack spring, see if I'm right, see uh -huh. if I'm right. Come all the way from England, or is that a coho? I say jack spring. Actually, it's a coho. Oh man! It's a nice coho, actually. <laughs> Going well on this light year. Oh, that's a fun. There we go. Now, yeah. is it a wild one or a fish? Round fish. The scissors. Yeah. He's got an adipose fin at the back there. Okay. Well, I can't see, Fred. I'm just looking at the size of the fish. Yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, Brian, if you want to dig that net out. That's a nice coho. That's a nice one, Fred. You yeah. Bet. That's a beauty. And what size are these going to go, Fred? Uh, they go up to about, uh, well, you can get them up to 15 pounds, but anything, 15 over, pounds. anything over 10 is considered exceptional in this river. And it, it looks like fish. it is a, is it a hatchery. It is a hatchery fish, so we can actually keep it, which we might as well do. It's and, a you know, keeper. It's they a keeper. Do they taste good, Fred? They, they are good absolutely fish? fantastic eating. I'll tell you what I like fishing. Compared with the, the bar fishing we've been doing, is this light gear. You know, it's really. Ultralight tackle. Yeah, you I'm bet. Impressed with it. Yeah, you bet. We're gonna net this guy. Just We're gonna them out. as soon as Ryan gets that net out. You think there's a chance those fish outside are gonna come through, Fred? Oh, I think so. I think this is just a question of time, Graham. So this one's come in before the tide. So all those fish outside, it could get better. Yeah, it's gonna get better. Okay, see if we can net them now. Yeah, we'll put in. I'm getting nervous. No problem. Oh, yeah. okay. There we go. A nice fresh. BC. Bigger than I thought he was, yeah. Fred. It looks like he's about six pounds. I thought three, four pounds. Yeah. No, about six pounds, and I'll just show you when we get him on here. He's a hatchery fish, so you're to keep him. Okay, we've got a nice six pound coho here. And uh, we have both wild and hatchery fish that come into the system. And the hatchery fish is marked by a clipped adipose fin. Just pull it out here. You'll see that this little fin back here. Oh, it's cut off, yeah. yeah. It's actually missing. Okay, so that means it's a hatchery fish which means we can keep it. And that's a buck. 
males get a little cape on the nose. This is a curve yeah. on the top of the bottom, right? Both. So little, 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 little knob on the top and a little cape on the bottom with the teeth sticking out. So that'll be a great eating fish. That's a beauty. That's Appreciate about, that, Fred. About six pounds. Yeah. Big, bigger than my, I got, I said a jack spring, three pounds. Yeah, there you <laughs> six go. pound cover. Yeah, you bet. So Let's that's go a, get some more. You got it. Good nice, nice to Brian. see hatchery fish. They're all hatchery fish. Is he coming out? There he is. Here he comes. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful yes, fish. Look at that. Nice five and a half pounder. Are they all this sort of size of hatchery ones, Fred? Uh, no, they get right up to, well, no, over 10 pounds. Yeah. But uh, you're going to get lots in the five to seven pounds. And this is just a little tune up. Just hold them up like that. Yeah. Right, I'll try and follow the fish up. Okay, just, just a little bit wrapped up in here. So all this silver size here, that's going to go darker uh, as the fish runs up the river and yes. the longer he's in the river. That's right. This is. That is a beauty. That's a nice call. Oh, you bet. Nice BC coho. That was worth running up the river for. Yeah. for. You'll notice that. Right, that's uh, great. Yeah. Adipose here. It has, a, out, it has an adipose fin. The other yeah. one was clipped. Yeah. This one has a ventral clip. Oh, You'll notice it has the one. It's cut off here. Yeah. This is a ventral fin. Why do they do that? A, Fred, to, I know it's a market, but why the difference between the adipose and the ventral? Why would they? Uh, I'm not I'm not exactly sure why. It's, it it's probably has to do with the. Make uh, life interesting for the guys doing the clip. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> doing is we've just come down river from Island 22 Belanche. We're down about three miles on a place called Henderson's Bar. It's one of my favorite places to fish. Uh, what I like about here is uh, the fact that uh, in this section of the river we're primarily looking for steelhead today using large spinning glows which are these these spinners here and we're going to uh, throw these out with a little bit of roll behind them and fish for steelhead. Now the neat thing about this is that while we're doing this method of fishing here, we can catch Chinook salmon that range up to 50 pounds, coho salmon that go into the 15 pound range, chum salmon that go to 20 pounds. So there's a whole variety of fish that we can catch here. What we're to do is uh, we're using a fairly heavy leader. Current is fast and uh, by using a heavy leader they don't twist up. We use these spinning glows which actually sit on the line and we'll use a variety of colors, but the way they work is they spin. And that spinning or buzzing in front of the fish aggravates them, and they'll hit that. Now with this, we'll put a bead on behind, allow it to rotate, and we'll use about a five, four or five old hook, and you'll notice pinch the barb down, because a lot of these species are catch and release. We'll tie it on using a bait knot, done simply by a few twists around the shank of the hook. And in this knot that we create, we'll put a little bit of salmon roll, which is good bait as well. Cured in procure and then boraxed, just so it's not quite as messy. And we just put a bait loop on there and this bait loop will actually hold that bait on the hook just nicely, just like that. And then our uh, spinning glow will sit on the top of that bait, like so. And the current will activate that spinning glow, just like that. So we'll put it out there and see if we can catch a fish. It starts bouncing up and down, going nuts. There's no, there's no questions about a bite at all. this out a little further out into the current. I'm going to cover a little bit more area of the river with this. We're using a, a real nice thin braided line which is cutting through the current. This is uh, actually 50 pound test line. It's about the same diameter as 15 pound monofilament. So there's a real advantage to using the thin diameter line. Plus if we do hook a fish it's direct contact. There's no stretch to this line whatsoever. So we're just going to lob this out. We're using a 10 foot rod here. It's a two piece rod. Uh, salmon steelhead. 
Okay, so we just cast out in the current a little further here. We're using a 10-foot two-piece rod. It's a salmon steelhead combination. It's got a lot of strength in the bottom end of the rod and some sensitivity in the tip. It's an ideal rod for this kind of fishing. Okay, so we've just cast out. We're going to put the rods into the holders here. These are uh, an excellent rod to hold the system that you can strike lifting the rod directly out. They'll, they'll spin away so you can pull the rod directly out and set them up at the same time. Oh, throw that guy out into the deep, heavy stuff with a big 50 pounder. Okay, these uh, Chinooks that uh, we're fishing for right now at this time of year actually are mostly Harrison River fish. And they do go up to 70 pounds, although anything over 50 is considered quite large. Uh, one of my guides got a 61 this year, which is a, which is a heck of a fish. It's the biggest fish I heard of this year. Okay. Okay, guys. When we uh, when we do hook a fish here, when we get a bite, we get a strike. The uh, smaller jack springs will be a little bit more persistent on that bait. There'll be a light take, and um, so you want to just grab the rod and maybe uh, wait until he's on there and then set the hook. If the line goes slack, wind it down to the fish. Now, if it's a big one, there will be no doubt the, the rod's going to bend over and the line's going to start screaming out. They probably hook themselves. Okay, we're all ready. Yeah. Yeah. Life's good. Jeez. Big He's spring. Move the lead. Keep the lead bouncing. That's all good. It's a six. What, you've hooked six up there? Yeah. Wow. Craig, why don't you take it into the beach so we can film it? Colors and everything. Midnight green. This is the perfect. Get him uh, breathing good here. What is it? 45. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> we landed all but one. And how big were they? Like? And we lost yeah. two. Oh, all they're all, the biggest we got besides us was nine pounds. So the rest were fives. Any coho? First one was a coho and the rest were all jacks. Danny got a couple? Danny, no, I'm the only one that got them up there so far. <laughs> Okay, let's get him turned around and up, so that's not good having him sideways. Let's get him sitting upside right. Hang on to his tail, Greg. Get his tail first inside the net. Now that's a big, that's a big spring. The other way around. There you go. Okay, just have the one guy hang on to the net handle and drop the net handle down, even with the water. That's it. Greg, you got the uh, tail good? Yeah. Okay, excellent. It's his head. Okay. Well, that uh, is a monster just spring. Okay, come, come back a little. We'll drop the net right out of the pitcher. Yeah. How big did he go, Greg? That one. Holy cow. 40, 45. 45 pounds. Get your glove handle. Greg, he's talking to you. It's 45 pounds. Fraser River Chinook. Let's get the net off there. Get the net off there if you can. Awesome fish. Okay, fit. turn him, turn him sideways. Well done, Tony. That's a beauty. Don't get all the fish in on this bloody lens. You guys back up. Back up. Yeah. Just lower him slowly in the water. He's got his gills up. Right. Okay. Okay, let's get him out into a bit of current, Greg, and get some uh, get some uh, water going through his gills there. He's going to be a tired puppy, that guy. He wants to go. There you go. Ah, beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. That's French, isn't it? Yeah.
like it's about 15 pounds. It'd be really something if that was a 15 pound coho. <laughs> Gotta get a better look at the tail here. Big tail on it. Shake this head. First salmon? Yeah, yeah. This time I've had a fish on the centre pin as well. He's not going to like this, so he might take off, boy. All salmon like this, Fred, they just don't like being touched. No, you know, when you first try to get hold of them. Hard to hang on to this guy. He's strong. Really strong. Swing him around this way, Fred. 20 pound spring, guys. But it's catch and release, we're gonna have to put it back. Beautiful silver okay. fish. Paul, oh, you got it? That you is a super fish. fish. If you can do it, just hang on to it. Quickly. You're actually the other way, Brian. You're into the sun here. Here. Grab one of the tail. Okay. Big fish, yeah. Go down five. Nice job. <laughs> awesome job. <laughs> 20 pounds spring salmon, white spring salmon. Chrome bright. Put up a heck of a fight and I never even got excited on that one hard at all. <laughs> Except, <laughs> well you heard all the yelling and screaming, didn't you? <laughs> hey, there's a few fish around as well, isn't he, Barry? Oh. the fish for fish we saw rolling on the inside of the bar we were fishing earlier and we've got to take now. Fred says it's a nice big spring, what sort of size do you think Fred? I figure he's over 30 gram, uh, you know he's... Don't tell me, it makes me feel nervous. Yeah, you're shaking a little yeah. bit, is that yeah. from uh, exhaustion or well, anticipation? Last night's events maybe. No. <laughs> I don't, away from home. Home. I don't remember her name. <laughs> Anyways, no it's a big Chinook, it's probably 30 to maybe 40 pounds. Took a pretty good run there. Yeah, and you changed the spinglows over. Yeah, we uh, we phoned the other guys and they'd got a fish on a green spinglow, so I thought we'd better put one out. And boy, it was only out there five minutes and we got a fish. So he's going around the boat. Just watch the, the edge okay. of the boat here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try and get it into the the shore or what? No, we're not going to put him in a net. We're going to let him go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to swing him into the beach here, and uh, without uh, doing too much damage to him, we'll just pick him up for a quick photograph and then take the hook out and let we'll make sure we revive him good, and then we'll let him go. Good man. Let's yeah. just hope the line stays tight. Yeah, I think so. And the fish stays on, and you'll have a happy photographer here. I think that this fish is spooking a few more of those salmon because there's fish flowing all around the place. How are the other guys doing downstream, Fred? Uh, well, on that last phone call, that was their fourth fish that they'd hooked, so oh, not too bad. And we've only been out here a little over an hour, so it's pretty good. They got springs as well? Big springs, yeah. They got one they figured probably 40 pounds. 40 so, pounds? Yeah, awesome fish. I mean, you can fish in England like a lifetime and never see a, a 25, 30 pound fish. So to come out here and in, well, a couple of days fishing, we've seen fish to 51 pounds. Cool. For the other guys. 55, and this morning in the, in the hour, we must have saw 100 springs roll that have range in size from Whoa, 15 ow, to 45 oh, pounds. Ow. He's pulling, Fred. He's pulling, okay. Make your arm, mate. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you make my arm, mate. Here he's coming up. Let's see the Whoa, man. Oh, man. Getting the water yet? Yeah, Graham, why don't we just step out on the beach here and then we'll uh, get a quick shot of this guy and let him go. Let me put the rod in the boat a sec. This is unbelievable size of this fish. 
come through. Okay, yeah, Graham, we gotta, we're gonna have to hurry. Ready with the snails, yes, Brian? Yes, Look at this thing. Unbelievable. Fred, that is all of 30, yeah? Yeah, beautiful fish. Fast ones, Brian. Okay. Do, do a horizontal. Hang on, just give him one breather. Stand up. Get him real close, bro. Not close enough. Now refocus. Focus on our face. Yeah, that's good. Ready, Fred? Yeah. Unbelievable fish. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's get him back, Fred. Bit for that. Is that 30 pounds? I can't believe yeah, that's 30 pounds. Woo! What a beautiful fish. That is fabulous. You just swim him, get some water over his gills, Fred. And you will go away okay? You should be. That is unbelievable belly on. That's the row in there, Fred, is it? That's a, that's a doll. That's a female Chinook. That that's, all, that's all the row right here. Wait.